when your uh, National Instruments doesn't sign up quickly, the problem you are having is long boot up times. I'm going to show you how to deal with that. I'm going to go to the Windows search bar and search services. When I search services, I see the little thing with the gear. I'm going to double click the gear. My, here's my cheat sheet, what I'm going to do in the services. I'm going, to, I'm going to sort by name and I'm going to turn all three of these into a delayed start. So now it's, search, it's uh, sorted by name and I'll go to all the NI stuff. And they're all together. You can stretch this out a little bit wider. And NI uh, device loader. This is the one that causes the biggest problem and the reason it does that is because Windows 7 has got so many darn things to do. This is what you're going to be changing here. See here? It's normally set here to automatic. You're going to put automatic delayed start and click apply. Then we'll go to uh, OK, and then NI Service Locator, NI Service Locator. I think it would be in some alphabetical order. Service Locator, right click, Properties, and set to Automatic Delayed Start. It already is there because I've done this and this works. NI Configuration Manager, and here right click, Properties, and do the same thing. Automatic Delayed Start. Now what you want to do is you're done setting up uh, the order in which things get uh, signed up when on login. Now the other thing you want to do, I happen to have Microsoft uh, Security Essentials. So I'm going to open my little thing here and show you what I do to do that. In this one, you go to Settings and in Excluded File Types, you go, ah, uh, sorry, Excluded Processes. Okay, sorry, excluded files and locations. In other words, you want to trust National Instruments. So you go browse to the location where National Instruments exists in the x86 and the standard where There are two of them. You want to add both of them so they look like that. I'm not going to go through the browsing thing. That's a pretty simple thing to do. So that now tells the antivirus, don't worry about National Instruments. We trust them and uh, we won't bother scanning everything and slowing your computer down. And the last thing to do is how in the heck do I know why things are slowing down the system? We're going to look at the event viewer here. So start, I'm going to type event viewer, E-V-E-N-T, viewer, there it is. Double click this one. This one is a spy that shows everything that's happening. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use my little cheat sheet here. We're going to go to uh, Microsoft Windows Diagnostics Performance. So let me pause it here. So you'll expand these little goodies here. We want to go to here to Microsoft and I'm on a uh, Macintosh and the background of the Macintosh I'm using uh, Team Viewer to work on this machine so it's a little slow here. Um, this is under Windows. So you see the path here. I'll move it up. This is Microsoft Windows. See, I just click this here, Application Service Log Windows. I'm going to go to Diagnostics Performance. This one, expand this one, click Operational. And here is a log of all the things that happened to your machine. It's the date it happened. So in this particular thing on 522, my machine on boot duration took forever. So now I fixed it with this little fix. So on 611, this machine, it took... Uh, 35 seconds to um, boot, which is way better than way better than the error that caused that it didn't work. So that's how you do that. And if you need to send that to NI, there's a little goodie you can uh, highlight these uh, and then uh, save save events as and send it to NI, and they'll be able to do it. But uh, you'll be able to read this. Click on details. You get to see who did what and read it and see who's doing, who's offending things in this particular one. I can know that the offending uh, party had to do with, uh, where's this warning, this is a warning, with the system web server and this one was the web server and other little uh, program I wrote. So anyway, that's how you do it. Enjoy and see you later.